Hey everybody and welcome to the Butler Boy Gaming Minecraft tutorial series. Today we're going to do a command block tutorial video and I'm going to teach you how to build a money system. This can be used many different ways in Minecraft and I will show you an example of how to use it and you can go from there. So for this tutorial we're going to make a six command block system. It's actually pretty simple on the setup but the commands can get kind of complex. So we're gonna take it one step at a time so you can kind of follow along and I can teach you so you can understand exactly what each command block does. Um, so for this system, we're going to need one regular command block, three repeating command blocks, two chain command blocks, an observer, a redstone comparator, and a piece of redstone dust to get the command blocks you got to make sure that you have cheats enabled without cheats enabled you will not be able to do this tutorial you can change that in your settings so i'm going to give you an example i built a buy and sell system for an example uh, we have here where you can sell a diamond for a thousand dollars and you can buy gold ingot for 250 each right now you'll see up here i have zero server cash this is the system that we're going to be building um, if I sell a diamond, which you can see I have a diamond in my inventory here, I'm going to sell it. I no longer have the diamond in my inventory and right now it shows that I have a thousand server cache. I can use that thousand server cache to buy iron ingot. You can see now it took 250 away. I can buy four. Once I buy the four and I no longer have server cache, if I try again, nothing's gonna happen. So it's a pretty secure system. You can customize this any way you want. You can buy and sell any items you want for any price. It's completely up to you, but I'm gonna give you the basics so you can run with it and make some great systems. So let's get started with the tutorial. All right, for the tutorial, the first thing we gotta go over is we gotta go over a few commands that we need to type through chat. Uh, these commands are kind of important. They're gonna be the, the baseline for our uh, money system and it's also going to be some stuff to keep stuff out of the chat you'll see what I'm talking about so first what we need to do is in Minecraft um, a chunk is only loaded when you're inside of it so where these command blocks are at we need them to stay loaded because if they don't stay loaded then whenever you get out of the chunk area these command blocks are no longer going to work so therefore your money system is not going to work so we need this area to stay loaded so what we're going to do is we're going to make it a ticking area so what we're going to type in is forward slash ticking area and we're going to add and I want to do this as a circle and then we got a specify the area we want the ticking area in. I'm standing in the middle of the room, so I am going to add it in my relative coordinates. That's what these little squiggly nines mean. Um, and then I gotta say a radius. You can use a radius anywhere from one chunk to four chunks. I like to use a two chunk just to kind of broaden the area a little bit to make sure I don't run out of room. So we're gonna do a two. And you can name it if you want to. I don't. Um, and then you're just gonna hit enter. So at the top of the screen, you see where it says it added a ticking area. So now that we have the ticking area, the next thing we have to do is we have to get command block outputs off. Anytime a command block runs, it puts a message in chat. And so this system uses several command blocks that are steadily running in the background. So if you don't turn off the outputs, you're gonna be bombarded with just messages in chat and it's very annoying. So what we can do is we can type game rule and command block output. And then we can turn it to false. So like I said, this is gonna turn it to where command block, so when they're executing their commands, they're not showing up in chat. All right, so that's our two game um, areas that we have to do. So next we're gonna do is we're gonna add some scoreboard systems. I'm gonna go over these more when we're actually doing the command blocks, but we need to have two scoreboard systems. So we're gonna type scoreboard, objectives, add, and this right here, what you type here is gonna be the name of your money system. My money system is gonna be called server cache. 
You can name yours whatever you want, but just keep in mind, if you use capital letters, you have to use capital letters whenever we're programming everything. So whatever you type here, you might want to write it down for the rest of the tutorial to use. So like I said, for mine, I'm going to use server cache, just like that. Well, on Bedrock, we only have one kind of scoreboard system we can do, and it's called a dummy system. A dummy system means that I have to manually put uh, values in and I'm going to show you that later on uh, Java has a lot more things that you can do but for the sake of bedrock we have to use dummy so when you type that it's going to add the objective of server cache now we got to add one more um, scoreboard and so it's a scoreboard objectives add and this one in I want you to use the same one I'm using this will not be shown up anywhere but we're going to use money D just like that and then we're going to do dummy as well um, I'll explain a little bit more later on why you have to have two but for now let's just add two so that's our four chat commands next we're going to kind of go over the setup so now let's talk about the setup so when we're setting these up we're going to put a repeating command block right here we're going to go into a comparator, redstone dust. We're going to put observer facing that direction. We need it facing that direction so that whenever this lights up, it's going to send a pulse to this and cause a reaction back here. Now we're going to put a regular command block facing upwards. We need this to be facing upwards so it chains up. So now on the top of it, we need to add two chain command blocks. That is the main setup, and then we're also going to have two command blocks that run in the background at all times. So we're just going to put them there. It can be there, you can put them here, that does not matter where they're at, just don't let them touch. So for the commands, let me remove some of this. This first command block is going to be your command block that is testing to see when players come onto the realm, the world, whatever, and when they leave. This is gonna be the baseline for um, keeping the scoreboard on that menu with only active players at the time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a command and it's gonna say test for, and then we're gonna do at all. So like I said, what this is going to do is it's going to test for every player that comes in. When they come in or when they leave, it's going to send a pulse through and it's going to cause the reaction through the rest of the command blocks. So what we also need to do is this is on repeat, unconditional, and this is going to be always active. So now you see it lit up. The reason it lit up is because I am standing here. If any other player comes, it will be lit up. Once I completely leave the rim, of course it goes off. So now we're going to work on our chain tower. Our chain tower is what we're going to do, and I'm going to explain this a little bit more in just a second, but we're going to type scoreboard objectives remove money D. And this is going to be, this one's going to be impulse, unconditional, needs redstone. The next command block up is going to be scoreboard, objectives, add, money, D, make sure you spell it the same way, dummy, server cache. I know you cannot see all that, but if you go right here to the ad, you can actually see the whole thing, server cache. All right, this one is chain, unconditional, always active. Now we're gonna go up to the third command block, and I'll just go ahead and go to here so you see the whole thing, and then we're gonna type scoreboard, objectives 
set display list list is going to put it in the pause menu we're going to list the money d and we want it descending the reason i like it doing descending um, is it keeps it in numerical order all right so now i want to do explain some of this what this does is when a player comes onto the realm it's going to send a signal here and it's going to remove the whole money d system after it removes the money d system it's going to re-add the money d system and then it's going to display it in the pause menu the reason we're doing this is when you have a scoreboard system, it's going to list any player that's part of that scoreboard system. If they leave the game, it's going to say offline player, and it's going to say the amount of scoreboard that they have. Well, if you're on a realm and you have 30 people playing and only three people are on, that's a lot of people that's going to be offline that's going to be showing up in the list. So what this does is this is removing the money D system completely and then adding it again to where it only shows the people that is currently on. That's why we have the money D system because at the, when we do these next command blocks, you're going to see the money D system and the scoreboard or the server cache system are going to be the exact same. Well, if I removed, if I only had one, let's just say I only had the server cache system and I removed it completely. When I added it back, it's going to start everybody back over at zero. We don't want them to start back over at zero. We want them to keep the money that they already have. So we have to keep one system that's always active, but it's displaying the other system. That way we can take it and re-add it and make it mirror the original system. And that way it, it, it kind of keeps it all um, from getting messed up and it keeps everything looking nice and neat. I hope I didn't lose you when I said that. So, for our side two command blocks, the first one, we're going to type execute at, at all, and then we're going to run scoreboard players operation. Let me open that all the way to where we can see it at p money d space equals space at p and then this is where you're going to put your money system's name mine is server cash all right and then over here it's going to be repeat unconditional always active all right, and you can see at the bottom down here it says set money D for the butler boy to zero that's what we want we want it to always keep the money D and the server cache system as the exact same number that way when it removes the money D system and re puts it up there so it only shows online players it will immediately put the money back up there for the correct amount that you have all right our next command block if this one is going to be anytime you have a new player it's going to add them into your money system right now if they're not already in the money system there's no way for them to get into it without being added into it so we're going to do scoreboard players add at all and then this is where you're going to put your money systems name my server cash and you're going to get them to add zero to it because we don't want to actually be adding money to it but we want them to be um, added to the system itself so that they can start buying and selling so this is the easiest way to do it so when doing this is uh, repeat unconditional always active so that right there is your whole system. Now let's talk about some uses. 
This right here is a server shop that I built on one of my rims. Uh, we used it for a long time. I've upgraded now to some newer stuff, but this will give you a good example of some of the possibilities that you can do with the system. So this has four lines of buying and selling items. On this side, we have diamonds. You can buy a diamond for a thousand. You can sell a diamond for a thousand. Diamond blocks, gold, gold blocks, iron, iron blocks, copper, copper blocks. And around the side, we have emeralds and netherite. That's all of our sell items, buy and sell. Everything else in here are buy only. So this is a pretty cool system that you can set up. Now it gets pretty advanced um, with the command blocks of setting them up, which we will go over those in another tutorial, but you can see that it can get pretty crazy. And that's just one side. So let me give you an example of what this does. Alright, so right now you can see I have 6,628,115 server cache. I can, um, I can buy diamonds. Oops, sorry, buy. I can buy the diamonds as many as I want. You can see my server cache goes down. You can see them in my inventory right here. Um, I can buy diamond blocks, I can sell, I can sell, same thing throughout the whole thing. Uh, you can add items such as like on this realm we did a lot with spawners. So you can buy a spawner and then you can buy eggs to put in the spawner. Um, and I mean, it, uh, possibilities are endless you can really do a lot of stuff with it but how to set up a server shop is going to be a whole nother tutorial because you've seen how many command blocks it takes but I'm gonna at least go over how to add and take away your money system uh, points so that you can begin the setup on a server shop all right, so let's talk about the adding and subtracting points. We need to give ourselves a command block. So if you give at self, oops, command block. All right, we're going to give ourselves a command block. With our command block, we can. You know, here you can actually change it to a chain command block, also change it to a repeating command block. But for here, right now, we're just gonna go over the impulse, adding, and subtracting. So everything in the scoreboard system is gonna start, start off with the word scoreboard. Players. And this is where we're gonna add and subtract. So you have add, this is if you wanna give them points. Um, so scoreboard players add at player because you want it to be the closest player to the command block. And we're going to say what we want to add. We want to add the server cash or whatever you named your money system and then how much you want to add. So in this case, if you want to add a thousand, this is all we do. So with this, if we go up here, get a button, put a button on here. Every time I click this button, it is actually adding a thousand server cash to my money. You can see right here it says 6629115. If I click it again, it's going to say 663. So it's just adding a uh, thousand server cash each time. We can also take this. So if you want to remove server cash, we can also go up here, take away the word add and type remove. 
and when I click this button it's gonna say removed 1000 server cache uh, for the butler boy and this is the start of a buy and sell system if you know command blocks from here you can add chain command blocks to this and you can take server cache from here you can give an item you can play a sound you can display some text make it all conditional and when it's conditional it's going to take the server cache from them and then it's going to give them the item um, we can even go as far as adding one more command block in front of this and this is going to do test to see if they have the right amount of server cache before it does anything else and if they don't have it then it won't do anything mm -hmm. else but again this is more advanced stuff and this comes with the next tutorial building the server shop well that's going to be it for the today's tutorial if you have any questions just comment or write me directly uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up to date with more tutorials and the next tutorial coming after this and i thank you for watching